Hi guys, my name is Gretchen and today we will be learning how to do laundry. So first things first, I feel like on TV you hear all about sorting laundry based on colors, lights with lights, darks with darks. This is my method of doing laundry and it is not based on colors. Frankly, I sort laundry based on kind of yuckiness. So the first level of yuckiness is the most yucky, which is like your towels and your sheets, your underwear and your socks. That's the sort of stuff that is like really close to your body and you're using all the time. That's the sort of stuff you're gonna wanna put in hot water. So that's, this, this basket here is our, our um, underwear and our socks and, and some towels and whatnot. So that goes in hot water. The second kind of uh, sorting that I have, second level, is kind of like the mid-level. I call it the warm level. That's more of your catch-all level, which is uh, a lot of t-shirt. I have, you know, workout stuff, clothing. This is this is what I find is the biggest load of laundry that I have to do. It's kind of the catch-all. Some, you know, yoga pants and, and like I said, t-shirts and that sort of thing. So that's what I have most of it on. With my regards to my yuckiness scale, your t-shirts can get kind of yucky, kind of sweaty. Um, but not so much nearly as maybe socks. Um, the third level of laundry that I have is the cold level. The cold level is kind of the exception to everything else. It's more like jeans and sweatshirts. If you've got a sweater, um, bras, that sort of thing that I generally put in cold water. And now some of the things you are that go in the cold pile, you might want to have in like kind of like the fourth level, which is the extra special level, which is your delicates. If you have any, again, special sweaters that need to be delicate or, um, frankly, I don't use the delicates very much. That's me personally, but check what the tag says. If it says delicates, I would do it on the delicate cycle. If you have any questions about anything, I would either do it in warm or cold, um, but definitely socks on these. Uh, sheets and towels, those are the big ones that go in the hot. That's the sort of stuff you really want clean. Now, in today's age, we also have face masks, right? This is not something we had to deal with over a year ago. So the way I handle my face mask, they go in the warm. You can either put them in warm or hot. Uh, again, that kind of goes to the level of yuckiness, right? Your face mask can get kind of yucky and you want to make sure you keep it clean. So I actually have this, um, this is technically a, a delicates bag. It's for like bras and pantyhose, which I don't really use this bag for that, but what's perfect is for face masks. So my family, as soon as we wear a face mask for an hour, for a day, whatever it is, they automatically put it in the bag here and we keep it on the washer. Um, my general rule of thumb personally if I wear a face mask for more than 20 minutes, um, I'll wash it. I'll wash it. I mean, it can be a couple hours, but I like to keep my mask clean. So cleanliness with that in mind, I either put it in the warm basket or the hot basket. Okay. So for purposes of today, we're going to wash the warm because that's the laundry that I need <laughs> right now. So this is our washing machine. Throw it all in here. Now, I think you're probably supposed to fill your laundry about two thirds full. I kind of put it a little bit more full than that. I've never had an issue, but, um, probably want to do it about two thirds full if you can, but you know, kind of test your, your washing machine and see what works. So we've got the clothes in there. You close the door and turn it on. Now, something you want to keep in mind is that there's two types of washing machines. There's your traditional type of washing machine where you can use any sort of soap, doesn't matter. And then in the past few years, they've come out with a, what they call a high efficiency washing machine. This is the, the high efficiency symbol here. Um, and that you do require a certain kind of soap. Now that soap is, is pretty common 
anymore. But if you're using a new washing machine, you definitely want to check whether it's a high efficiency HE machine. If it's an HE machine, then you want to look at the type of soap we use. We have allergies here, so we use the all free and clear. And this is a little HE symbol if you have an HE machine. So it's pretty clear, like if in this machine it says a normal load of laundry and this is the max amount of soap. So you want to put the regular soap in the machine here. Fill it up. Put it on normal. Do a little bit more because we put in a pretty big load of laundry. Um, I have a tendency not to use any I don't know, fabric softeners or pre-wash or anything like that. My laundry is pretty basic. So I just put in the soap and I close it. Something you want to be careful of is to actually use soap. Don't use bleach or anything like that. Um, if my clothes are particularly dirty, I sometimes use, um, if I have a stain, I find the shout is pretty good. Put it on the stain, rub it in, really scrub it in. Um, let it sit for a couple minutes and then just throw it in the washing machine as well. I find also OxyClean is pretty good. This is OxyClean. This is good for lots of dirt. Um, I sometimes put it in with like stinky shoes, stuff like that. I find the OxyClean can get out some oils as well. It works pretty well about that. But for now, we're just going to do basic load of laundry. So like I said, this is our warm warm uh, basket, warm, warm pile, which is t-shirts, shorts, um, stretchy pants, that sort of thing. Not jeans, not sweatshirts, but other than that, it's, it's kind of the, the catch-all. So we're just going to put it on normal because that's the sort of load we're going to do. Now, again, each machine differs, but you can see here there's different settings. Sanitary, you're going to want to use if something's really dirty, like your towels and your sheets, you really want to sanitize it. That generally doubles the length of the cycle. Um, cotton towels, these are generally hotter um, settings, hotter, hotter water used. We're going to use normal today. Um, I'm not sure what permanent press is. I don't use it. <laughs> and then the delicates is a shorter cycle used for it's kind of sometimes blouses, um, bras, that sort of thing, or, or specialty sweaters. So I put it on normal, and then you want to check the temperature of the water. So again, you can have warm, cold, warm, warm, hot, cold, and at the bottom is cold, cold. Um, I have a tendency to use warm, cold because it's a little bit more efficient. There's no need. Warm is the original, uh, is like the first cycle where it's actually washed. Let me make that more clear. The first temperature designation is the temperature that it is initially washed in with the soap. And then the second temperature designation is the temperature of the water when everything's washed off, when it's rinsed off. Personally, I don't think there's a need to have warm water used when it's rinsing, only when it's actually being washed. So I have a tendency just to use the cold wash. So for this, like I said, it's a warm cycle, so we're gonna do warm, cold, we could also do a warm, warm, but warm, cold is more efficient, um, saving the environment. So that's what we're going to do. Spin speed, my machine just defaults to high, um, soil level normal. And then this is just the beep of how loud I want it to go. And in the background, that's my child not sleeping right now. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's the cycle. That's the setting. And we're going to hit go. Uh, but before we do that, just because that's noisy, I do want to turn our attention to the dryer. A um, few things to note about the dryer. Um, I generally don't have a tendency to put things in the dryer because they, they do shrink. Even if they say they don't shrink, they do sometimes shrink. So the only things I really put in the dryer are, again, towels, sheets, um, panties, underwear, and socks. Um, anything that's in the hot load. I generally put in the dryer. Other than that, I don't really put things in the dryer because again, it can shrink and any elastic, it has a tendency to dry out the elastic and the elastic gets ruined quicker. 
Um, so in this case, you want to, before you turn on your machine, you actually want to clean out the lint, which in this case is right here. Clean this out. Way. Now, the important thing to clean in the lint is this is highly flammable, so you want to make sure every time you use the dryer, you clean the, the lint filter. Put that back in. Now, I'm not going to turn it on. This is actually dry already, but you clean that, close it, turn it on. And then my personal preference, you can use cotton towels. That's a higher temperature. Um, and like, like the washer, the dryer has certain settings. It can either be a very low temperature with the air circulating, medium temperature, high temperature. Cotton, cotton and towels have a tendency by a higher temperature. Um, I just put it on normal and then I pick the settings that I want. Usually I just do normal, medium, um, or high, but I like the duration. Like um, towels have a tendency to take longer. So I usually put that on 60 minutes versus socks and underwear that takes a little bit less. So I'll do 40 or 50, 40 or 50 minutes. And then I would hit, just hit the start button. Uh, now getting back to our washing machine over here. Again, we have our warm load in here. Soap is in. We're going to turn the machine back on. Set it's normal, warm, cold, and And there we go. Uh, the one last thing that you should consider is anytime you have a garment that you have never washed before, something that's new, especially if it's a darker color, like if you buy new jeans, a new navy blue t-shirt, that sort of thing, you're gonna wanna pre-soak it. That is the one, I would say, uh, unique thing about the system that I use. New clothes have a tendency to bleed so you just want to, I have a bucket I keep in here so I don't waste a ton of water. Um, you want to pre-soak the t-shirt, the pants, whatever it is. Sometimes they don't bleed at all and you'll see the water is completely clear. And then you can just, if it's completely clear, just throw it in your normal wash and be on your way. Um, there are some clothes that have a tendency to bleed. So I let it soak for a while. I scrub it up dump the water and just keep put, put keep um, putting clean water in the bucket until I reach the point where there's very little dye coming out, very little color coming out. And then I just wring it out and I put it in the normal wash once that happens. But there's no reason to put any soap in here. Just put the garment in here, put some water in it and let it soak with the water and you'll see it start to bleed if necessary. And if not, again, just throw it in the dryer and be on your way. So I hope you learned some things from my little video today. I hope this helped you do laundry and have a wonderful day.